Sara is a high school student. She always looks at the others with an envious eye. When her poor classmate got engaged to a rich, handsome young man, she envied her classmate and wondered what did this young man find in my classmate to bond with her despite her poverty. Her father had advised her more than once. Not to look at others with displeasure because that was considered interference in God's management of his servants, so she promised him that during her studies at high school she needed a private lesson in a certain subject and she learned that Professor Mukhtar explains this material in a wonderful new way and therefore he became famous until he had almost a thousand students. And when Sarah sat down in the first lesson with him, she kept looking at the number of students with her and whispered to one of them smiling. Tomorrow he will buy a private jet from this high income and suddenly she found Professor Mukhtar smiling and saying to her, Allah knows and you don't know. Then I learned that he always says that to everyone who looks at the number of attendees. After Sarah's success and entering the university, she was shopping with her father in a famous center so she met Professor Mukhtar with his wife and his four children and she was surprised by his four sons all of whom had intellectual disabilities and developmental delays and need special treatment and special care and she found two of them with a polio like device and he was with his wife in misery and bewilderment with the children. So she looked at him and smiled and said to him, God knows and you don't know. Professor Mukhtar laughed with all satisfaction and said to her, Allah is the truthful, the greatest mastermind and from now on do not look at anyone's livelihood and do not envy anyone what they have and only you yourself. There is a hidden path that only Allah knows. وَلَا تَشْتَرُوا بِعَهْدِ اللَّهِ ثَمَنًا قَلِيلًا إنما عند الله هو خير لكم إن كنتم تعلمون ما عندكم ينفد وما عند الله باق ولنجزين الذين صبروا أجرهم بأحسن ما كانوا يعملون من عمل صالحا من ذكر أو أنثى وهو مؤمن فلنحيينه حياة طيبة ولنجزينهم أجرهم بأحسن ما كانوا يعملون